Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to be showing you how to bypass iCloud activation lock on the iPhone 4 on PC. Now there are a few things you need to know before we get started with this video. Unfortunately, I have no way of making this work on Windows 10 or 11 right now. Uh, Windows 10 just doesn't like the boot ROM exploit that we use and it always reboots the iPhone for whatever reason. Um, but this does work on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. Uh, so I would recommend using an older version of Windows if you have one. Uh, I am working on a method to make it run on Windows 10 and 11, so hopefully I will come out with that method shortly. But for now, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. So unfortunately for this video, I cannot actually download the necessary files on this PC because ever since we've gotten our new internet router, this old uh, computer just doesn't like it and won't connect to the internet on most websites. Okay, so we're on my PC here. Now we're just going to go ahead and open up a Google Chrome tab. Or for you, you can just go ahead and hit the link in the description that will take you to this page. You need to scroll all the way to the bottom here. And for this video, we're just going to be using the SSH method. I may go back and cover the IPSW method, but I did that on Mac. Um, I will try to get that working on Windows. ASAP, but for now we're just going to use the SSH tools. Okay, so now I just need to go ahead and download this, and I'm going to move this to a thumb drive so I can use it on my Windows PC. And now you need to go to the second link in the description. If you don't already know that you have to have an older version of iTunes, I have a video um, link will be in the corner of the screen or in the description on how to download or how to downgrade your iTunes versions. You're going to need iTunes version 1.1.5.5. So go ahead and hit that second link in the description that will take you to the iPhone wiki. And then I'm just going to scroll down and since my computer is 32-bit, going to scroll down till I find 11.1.5.5. Download that there and I'm going to move that to my jump drive as well. Hopefully you guys won't have to go through this much trouble. Hopefully you can just download it natively on your PC, but for whatever reason, my PC does not like our new internet router. Okay, so now that we've downloaded all the necessary files onto our USB drive, let's go ahead and plug that into our Windows XP or older Windows machine. Okay. So let's go ahead and open that up. And you will find this folder here that says Windows iPhone 4 iCloud Bypass Files. Um, once you extract it, it will look like this. And this is what you will see. Um, also, you will get this um, Java file here for older PCs like Windows XP. You will need this Java runtime environment if you don't already have it. Some people do, some people don't. Um, but if this doesn't read as a uh, Java file, like if you click on it and it doesn't open correctly, then you need to uh, install this Java runtime. The other thing that we're going to need to install is iTunes 11.1.5.5, which I already have installed here. Um, but if you don't know how to downgrade iTunes versions on your PC, say you have an, a newer version of iTunes, um, I also have a video which will be linked here and in the description. Um, so you can know how to downgrade iTunes versions because that is absolutely crucial for this to work. So make sure to go ahead and install that. And again, if you have a newer version of iTunes, you absolutely have to downgrade or this will not work. Okay, so once all of that is installed, you have everything that you need on the PC. Let's go ahead and turn off our iPhone and put it into DFU mode. Okay, so once the iPhone is off, you're just going to hold the power and home button together for about 10 seconds, then continue holding the home button for 10 to 15 seconds or until you hear it connect to your PC. Okay. 
Okay, so it just connected to my PC. Um, we don't even need to open iTunes for this. So let's just go ahead and open our uh, iPhone 4 iCloud Bypass files. Let's open the SSH RAM disk tool. And as you can see, it's using the exploit to exploit the boot ROM and it rebooted. Okay, so hopefully third time's a charm. Let's go ahead and put our device into DFU mode one more time. If it boots up, that is a sign that it's not working right. As you could see, um, it went into recovery mode there. That was when I was trying to put it into DFU mode. Actually messed up putting it into DFU mode and accidentally put it into recovery mode, but that doesn't really matter. Now that we're in DFU mode, um, since it booted up the last two times, what we're going to try is holding the home button while we run the exploit. Most of the time that will keep it from booting up, and it should. Okay, exploiting the boot ROM, continue holding the home button. If it doesn't boot up, then you're in the clear. Okay? Okay, so as soon as the exploit has been sent, you need to let go of the home button, assuming it doesn't boot up. If it boots up, then you need to put it back in DFU mode and try again. So what we should be looking for here is an Apple logo with a loading bar across the screen. And okay, we have success. The SSH RAM disk has loaded. Now we need to go into WinSCP. I already have a profile called iDevice, but I'm going to make a new one so I can show you how to connect. So first, for the host name, you need to type localhost. The port number is going to be 2022. Username is going to be root and the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. Now you can just click login or you can save it as a new um, profile if you want. That's what I do so I don't have to do it every time but for now I'm just gonna hit login, connecting the host and we are in. So now we just need to make sure that we are in slash root over here. Then we just need to open a command shell here once you've opened a command shell, just type mount.sh. Alright, that's great. Now I can close this. So now that we have mounted MNT1 and MNT2, we need to click MNT1, Applications, scroll down. Well, actually it's right here. Setup.app, right click, and delete. Delete setup.app. That's what we're trying to delete here. And that's basically the entire process. Um, there are other things that you used to could do at least to try to actually be able to activate the device, but I've tried those methods and they never worked for me, so I will not be showing you how to do that in this video. But anyways, your iPhone should now be bypassed. Um, you should be able to get straight to the home screen. So let's go ahead and get it out of this DFU mode. So let's just hold the power and home button for 10 seconds or until you see it reset. Okay, now we can boot it up and we will see if it's bypassed or not. Okay, so we see here that it is indeed in recovery mode. So what we're going to need to do here is connect it to my Windows 10 PC that has 3U tools on it and click exit recovery mode. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're on my PC. Let's go ahead and head to 3U tools. Link will be in the description to download it uh, if you don't already have it. So let's just hit exit recovery mode. And here we have the iPhone booting up. And we're here on the lock screen. Okay, so as you can see, this iPhone 4 is fully bypassed. So, it should be fully functioning, except for you won't be able to activate it on a cell service. But who's going to be using an iPhone 4 in 2022 as their personal phone?
Maybe that could be a future video for me. Let me know if you guys want to see that. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it worked for you. And if you enjoyed it, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. And I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Uh, hopefully, I will get this working on Windows 10 and 11 ASAP. If I get it working in the near future, there's a possibility that you will never even see this video. Again, thank you so much for watching this. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.